Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video. And today it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is an early look at their upcoming Target Store Gold Label exclusive Buddy Baker, the Animal Man, as it says right there in the box. Now, of course, like I said, Gold Label Collection. To be honest with you, it kind of looks like a swap the figure with that hand. Take a look at that. Animal Man, the Human Zoo. That's where this one hails from, kind of, sort of, because on the backside, it's the jacketed version of Animal Man. And here's the barcode for when he starts to hit store shelves, hopefully in around early January. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee with all your animal friends. This is a look at the brand new Target Gold Label exclusive Animal Man from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. And if your animal instincts are kicking in, they're probably telling you, you should consider subscribing. Why? We got old toys, we got new toys, we have daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So you got Animal Man with a couple extra hands. You have the flying swimming hands, or you can use them as elephant ears if you'd like. And you also get a trigger finger hand. Why? Well, in case you need to properly dispose of any and all Honey Badgers, in the most ethical way, my you. <laughs> what are we doing here, McFarlane Toys? Why are we giving Animal Man trigger hands? Anyways, you do get a clawed hand. It's nicely done, nicely painted, nicely detailed. Comes from that Animal Man cover, of which he's wearing the jacket, but we didn't get that Animal Man. But the claw is interesting, at least in the design and the paint, we'll just say. Once it's attached to his hand, he has very tiny wrists, and it just looks weird, right? It doesn't really form. I really feel like it should have been a clip-on that extended well into his wrist and below. That would have been a whole heck of a lot better. You also get his honey badger, which it's nicely done. It's nicely detailed, nicely painted, but there's no articulation and they seem to keep doing that. Everything that's an actual figure or could have articulation, it's very minimally articulated. And it's just a slug of a figure. It's nice, but thanks. Anyways, you get Animal Man, and I like these more simplistic, not as detailed out figures, but keep in mind with the A on the chest, right? The blue. If you turn him to the side, you see how awkward he has to stand in order for that to line up. From the front, I guess you would never know, but when you start to move it around, it really does start to break up the A too much. So that's one of those things where it's not a huge problem, but it also doesn't look very good. And that's the thing with all those joints and all that added articulation, right? So if you have to kind of get it just right, it might look kind of weird from the backside, just saying. <laughs> now, Animal Man himself, don't get me wrong. I love what they did with the head portrait. I like how they did the goggles. I think that's kind of interesting. I thought it was a sticker at first. It's more of that dot matrix painting. I think it looks pretty stellar. The head portrait is fine. I think that that really does look good. And yes, I would have preferred the jacketed version of Animal Man. I wish they would have done that. They will probably do that, but probably not anytime soon. Animal Man is kind of obscure. I'm glad that they put him in the line, but like I said, when moving him around, you're gonna have to fix that A every two seconds. It is a reuse of that buck body, which I'm not complaining about because I like the less detailed body. However, for whatever reason, he's really tough to stand with the joints that they gave him on the feet. Plus his wrists, are, are, are very, t they're weird. He's got weird wrists. So this one is like a cobbleization to make an animal man. Whereas I really would have wished they put in a little bit more and really made a stellar looking animal man because it's cool, but it's not fantastic, right? And I think at this point, it, things need to be a little bit more fantastic, especially when you stand up next to Batman and Superman and you got the honey badger, right? In terms of Swamp Thing, well, we all know that Swamp Thing is giant, so standing him next to Buddy Baker, yeah, he's definitely going to tower over him. But if you're in Rot World for whatever reason, you might run into Uma Thurman with Swamp Thing. So just to show you the scale, yes, he will scale properly with most DC Multiverse characters. So that will be my quick look at the brand new DC Multiverse Target Gold Label exclusive Animal Man. And again, thank you to my friends over at McFarlane for setting this out for the purposes of this video. I like the figure, 
but he ain't fantastic, if you get what I mean. With Blue Beetle, there was enough in the box. With Animal Man, it just kind of feels thrown together, unfortunately. If they would have just taken just a little bit more time, kind of fixed the wrists, maybe put some articulation in that badger, maybe put a coat on him, hey, that would have been a lot better, I think. But as always, you heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Animal Man. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, just a little bit more time and thoughts. Less on the reuse, more on making these figures really stand out. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.